All right, hello my friends. Hope everybody's doing well, wherever you're at in the world. I'm still here in the Philippines. It's been a rainy day. It's actually rained uh, several days over the past week, which is uh, cool things off. Kind of a nice change to the heat. But I don't know, is it the start of the rainy season? Maybe. So, uh, I'm just sitting here chilling. I haven't posted any videos in the past couple days since I made that trip over to immigration. I think that's the last one I did. Anyhow, haven't really been up to nothing other than just chilling out, biding my time, waiting for the 15th uh, to see if there's any different changes that come down the pipe here. I don't know. Supposedly there's going to be an, uh, an announcement on Monday, which today is Friday, June 12th, so 13, 14. Yeah, so supposed to be a decision, an announcement on the 15th. You know, and again, you got all these rumors swirling about what's going to happen. Who the fuck knows? All you can say is welcome to the Philippines. I'm hoping this shit gets lifted, but... Logic is not in abundance, so I don't I don't really think that anything's going to change on the 15th. Why would I? Um, we're obviously behind the times on opening up, but it is what it is. Anyhow, back to the purpose of the video. I just wanted to reach out to everybody and let you know that today, which is Friday, June 12th, Saturday and Sunday, um, I set a promotion on my first book and it's set for free on the Kindle version, the ebook version on Amazon. So if you just click that link down in the description, uh, just go, it'll take you to the Amazon page and you can download the, uh, the Kindle book for free. Hopefully I hooked it up right. I've never done a book promotion like that, but I was just messing around in the console and you know, it says something about book promotion or promote your book. And so you can run a, uh, a promotion where you give it away free for several days. And then it goes back to being uh, being paid. Um, so anyhow, I'd love it if all my subscribers would click that link down in the description. Download the Kindle version. It's for free for three days. And, um, you know, obviously it's going to help me out in the algorithm on Amazon. And I certainly appreciate it. I'd appreciate it if you did read the book and leave a honest, no bullshit review on Amazon. That, that, that helps out as well. Um, so, yeah. There you go. I got nothing else to report. I got nothing else to really talk about here in the Philippines because I'm I'm just basically still locked down. I know other things are starting to open up like I think I read an article that said Spain is opening up. I think Thailand is kind of set July 1 to open up and they're saying that you know opening up international visitors either the third or fourth quarter so that can mean next month or uh, you know October we'll see what happens but we're good here really no way to complain when you got a roof over your head you got electricity you got running water i got internet i got food really no way to complain my friends so that's all i wanted to say is just to remind everybody that uh the book is for free three days only until I do a next giveaway, but for three days, today, Saturday, and Sunday, just click that link, download the book, whether you start reading it or you read it a, a year from now, whatever, just download it for free. And I would certainly appreciate it. Um, subscriber count, folks, we're 24,738 subscribers as I make this video. I'm sitting here looking at it. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel, listening to my voice, watching my videos. I hope you're at least entertained or something I do invokes thought. Things like signs that things are starting to get back to normal here is it's noisy again. 
Like right now, I'm feeling the beat from somebody out on the street with some music going on. And then I feel the beat from somebody like over across the street with a, a vid joking machine going. Now, I, I don't think they're singing, but they got the speakers going. Noisiness and traffic. So there is some normalcy returning here. But for me, life is not going to return to normal until I can get on Cebu Pacific, book a flight to wherever I want to go, get on a Gota and book a hotel and go there and enjoy my life and my freedom. Things are not going to, things are not normal for me. Um, so I'm certainly hoping to, to hoping that we get back to those times, at least for my lifestyle, to return to some type of normal. Uh, but folks again we're just buying our time here and wherever you're at in the world I know you're under different circumstances we all have different concerns and different shit going on in our life I'm better than most but my freedom is what I'm looking for. freedom of movement is really the most important thing to me right now, returning to normal. All right, so whatever's going outside, folks, some, some folks are out there rocking it. I mean, they got some, uh, I think they're playing the twist. I mean, they're playing some old school music outside. All right, so what's been going on like the, the most simple level in our lives? Um, I want to say happy belated birthday to Helen of Troy, at least on a video uh, a while back, a few days ago. Uh, you know, her birthday was coming up, and I said, "Well, hey, what do you want for your birthday?" And she said, "I want to go home to see my my daughters." I was like, "All right." Um, so we made some calls, and without um, without divulging the names of the guilty and the complicit. We hooked it up. We made it happen. So Helen's back now with her family. She's spending time with her kids. And it worked out perfect. It worked out perfect where she got down there on the night of her birthday. So she was able to spend her birthday with her family. And, and I think it turned out good for her. So shout out to you, Helen. Hope you're doing good down there with your family. And enjoying your time. Because, you know, folks, it had been, it'd been over three months since she had seen her kids. So I'm, I'm happy and uh, just overjoyed that she's down there with her family. And the timing was just perfect. Shout out to our buddy who made it, who made it happen. Where there's a will, there's a way, my friends. And so that's all good. So happy birthday to Helen of Troy. Somebody asked why she hasn't been in the past video. It's because uh, it was her birthday and she went home down to see her family. Uh, this morning. I was cooking rice in the dog bowl over the uh, induction burner. And you gotta cook that rice at like 60 to 80. If you put it on 100, it cooks too fast. You gotta keep, you gotta keep a slow roll when you're cooking rice on an induction burner in a dog bowl. Now, if you don't know what the dog bowl is, it's that little metal bowl, it looks like a dog bowl. So like after 25, 30 minutes of me cooking this rice, the old lady comes in there and is getting impatient because she's hungry. Now granted, I've been cooking for a couple hours. I made this soup, this chicken and pork soup. It was delicious. But she got tired of waiting on the rice. So what does she do? She comes in there and jacks it up to like 140 or 160. Twice the temp that I've been cooking this rice on and it's fine. All it needed was three more minutes. Boom, jacks that stuff up on the induction cooker to 160. I mean, I'm talking within 20 seconds, it burnt that rice to a crisp on the bottom. Smoke filled up the room, skunked the rice, had to throw the shit out. And now she's raising hell at me. I'm like, why are you, why are you pissed off at me? All I needed was three, four more minutes on a slow roll, you know, with the turtle. You come in there with the fucking, uh, with the hair, you know, crank that shit up. Took it up to 90 and burnt the fucking rice. It ain't my fault. You know, I had a nice bowl of soup with some crackers, but she don't want crackers. She wants rice. I said, hey, that's not my problem. I'm not the one who burnt the fucking rice. So, 
Anyhow, there's a little bit of drama today over Rice, but uh, it, it, it was her fault. I mean, you can't you can't come in there and if rice is cooking at a certain temperature, you can't double that temperature and think that it's going to be done in a minute. This ain't Uncle Ben's or whatever that shit is, you know. So we had a burnt rice episode. Great soup for lunch. I've drank about four beers and a quarter of a bottle of rum today. I'm feeling great. I really am. Even this fucking rain can't take me down, folks. Can't bring me down. Just having a great day. I stopped by Angel's Bakery the other day on the way home. I bought a pack of bread, you know, like the sub sandwich buns, a pack of cheddar cheese, sliced ham, and salami. I picked up some beers. And folks, for like the next two days, I have some of the best sub sandwiches. Oh my goodness. Absolutely delicious. Once I taught the old lady how to make the first one, she was in there. Um, putting me together some of the best sub sandwiches I've had in a long time. You know, if you get a sub sandwich over at Sitting Bull, absolutely delicious. Same at Angel's Bakery. But I wanted something to take home, so I ended up hooking those packs, those little packages up. Man, I was eating like a king for like two days straight on them sandwiches. I'm out right now. I gotta make another trip tomorrow to Angel Bakery. And I forgot to look and see what days they're open. I am hoping that Saturday is one of their open days. Because I got to get over there and restock up on my beer, on my sandwich making material. I mean, I was in, I was in hog heaven eating sub sandwiches. Shout out to the folks at Angel Bakery. My goodness. I mean, all the food that you eat there is great. Same with Sitting Bull. All the food is great. Um... But I was just, you know, I just, I was, you know, let me get something to take home and make. And, uh, I mean, I came up with a gym with that sandwich meat. Now, if you're in the West, you think, damn, it's a simple motherfucker. I'm talking about sandwiches. Well, when you've been locked down for, uh, what is this? How many fucking days is this? This is day, I mean, what is this, the 12th? So this is day 88. Day fucking 88. 88 of being locked down 88 motherfucking days you're living in the west you think you were locked down you were not locked down okay here you are locked down in a draconian fucking don't set foot on the streets at times goddamn lockdown so am i excited about being able to go to a bakery and fucking pick up some sandwich meat and some fucking beers damn straight i am Speaking of that, they dropped the fucking liquor ban here, so at least now here locally I can, you know, walk to the store, go downstairs, whatever, I can get Sam McLight, Heineken, you know, all the local beers, and the liquor stores are open over in Barrio Bredo, that's a great thing. And also got me some damn cigars, because I was fucking out of cigars for over a month. Shit was killing me. So I bought these, uh, these are coming uh, 10 half Coronas, right? And take a good look at that Kuya right there. Have to focus in on that. Let me get my face out of the way. Maybe it'll focus. So there's a little box of uh, 10 half Coronas. It's actually a pretty steady little box, you know. You re reuse the box for whatever you want to. But I got me, I got me some cigars. I'm excited about that little things like that when you get deprived of like small things in your life like that it just pisses you the fuck off no reason for a liquor ban no reason for a fucking tobacco ban there's no reason for these fucking checkpoints but being able to fucking buy some goddamn booze and being able to get me a fucking cigar simple fucking things uh, you know, you're kind of calmed down on how angry you are at the, at the horse shit going, around, going on around you. But when you deprive a motherfucker of some simple pleasure, like a, like a goddamn cigar, and wonder why he gets pissed off, well, okay. You figure that one out, you know. So I went on that website called boozy.ph. It's basically a booze delivery service around Manila. 
I'm never ordering anything from that site, but I was thinking, you know, fuck it, let me try it out. The liquor ban is lifted, you know. So I put like five or six items in my cart. Um, they had a they had a keg, a mini keg, a Heineken, like on sale, some type of promotion. And I remember I was drinking that Heineken from Red Lobster over there uh, at the Mall of Asia. How delicious it tasted. It tastes totally different. I mean, it tastes authentic. And the stuff you get in the bottles, I think it's brewed locally or Vietnam, wherever the hell it's brewed, it, it don't taste the same. So I was like, all right, let me try that keg. Maybe it'll taste, you know, just as, you know, authentic as the one I got at Red Lobster. So I put that and several other items in my cart. Now, a lot of shit was selling out. This was like the day the liquor ban was lifted. By the time I fucked around and went to check out, like, almost everything in my fucking cart was sold out. It was like everybody was making a huge run on the fucking liquor. And, and literally, like, things were just selling out by the hour on that site. No. I don't give a fuck now because the liquor store is open. But I was trying to get that damn Heineken keg. And, you know, I fucked around and didn't close out the cart. By the time I went to pay, it was over. Sold out. So folks in Manila are making a huge run on the liquor once that fucking ban got lifted. Now folks, that's my update as of Friday, June 12th, 2020 here in the Philippines. Day 88 of this lockdown. Looking for some good news on Monday the 15th, but not expecting any. Again, a couple things. Click that link down in the description to Amazon. Download my, my, my ebook for free. Kindle version. Uh, whether you're ready to read it now or read it later, just go ahead and download that for free. If you do read it, leave me a review. And then uh, right there, right hand corner of your screen, if you're not a subscriber, Click that button, get on board my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I appreciate, let's see how many we're at. 24, 7, 3, 8. Let me refresh it and see if we've picked up a couple of subscribers during this video. Nope, still at 24738. So, folks, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day wherever you're at in the world. Peace out, my friends.